Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, um, you can just call me KK. Um, so today I wanted to talk about something that's been on my chest for like a, a while, but I haven't really like put it into like words, if that makes sense. So basically a lot of the times when like, and I'm speaking on my own situation as well, and I feel like a lot of people do this as well, but when you've gone through so much and it's just sometimes back to back to back to back to back, like you go through a heartbreak and then you go through somebody dying and I really hope you guys can hear me through the wind because Texas is so windy for some reason, like every day it's been like crazy windy, I can't make videos, I barely make videos anymore because I like to do them at certain points and I feel like um, the wind just like completely ruins everything when it comes to making videos <laughs> but um, just bear with me but um, a lot of the times when you go through like a lot of like disruption and chaos and hurt and pain in your life it can make you feel so insecure so like feeling like better days aren't coming and like you just forget what it's like to be happy and joyful and trusting and at peace um, with your life. And I think um, you have to remember that better days are coming and that you do deserve happiness. Um, because a lot of the times with me, I just was going through so much to that being from being homeless to then going through school. And school was absolutely hard. It had its own challenges and its own purposes. I went through a really bad breakup. Um, probably my second bad, worst breakup. I've had two like severely bad breakups. And I think, um, I think it really, took a toll on my self-esteem and my self-worth and just it caused a lot of anxiety inside of me too as well um but yeah I think you have to remember that like you just because you went through like bad things you don't have to stay there you have to really like make an effort to to remind yourself that you're not there anymore like you're not in that broken spot anymore and you don't have to stay broken you don't have to be in that broken spot anymore um, so yeah once you realize though that you have been in that place of like oh well i've been through so much i've been broken i've been this i've been that so i might as well just you know stay in this place you know you just become either a resentful person a bitter person whatever the case may be but like i said i'm here to tell you that you can definitely change you can definitely be happy um, you are responsible for your happiness and I get it there are a lot of people who are negative and people who definitely will um, try to dim your light or try to like I don't know I don't know I guess just try to dim your light and you have to I don't know I guess not allow that in your energy your force fields and just who you are um, like two years ago three years ago I would have never been able to cars going by people walking by and I'm still making my YouTube video because because I've just grown to like not care about certain things there still are certain things that like I'm working on but like I'm not bound to people's opinions anymore. I'm not bound, like, people's opinions are not going to rule my life and take over my life and what I choose and what I decide. That is digressing, but <laughs> the point is, is that just to have faith that, okay, so, like, 
you've been through all of these bad things, been through like heartbreak, loss, grief, anger, bitterness, jealousy, whatever it is, and it's just taken a toll on you. Imagine all the goodness, the love, the joy, the peace, the abundance, the, the grace that you want to receive um, because of all of that that you've gone through. So, I am early. I just got a job at um, Legacy West in Plano. Um, so I'm not really in tech Dallas, but um, that's where I kind of want to live later on, like in actual Dallas or uptown Dallas. But um, yeah, I'm currently kind of trying to transition to Plano. Um, it's, I guess, the second best, you know, city in Dallas or Texas or the Dallas area, whatever. But, um, but yeah, so I just got this new job and it's really like around like a lot of fancy like things and people and it's kind of like out of my comfort zone a little bit, but I feel like this is a chance to learn more about myself and, um, I'm really good with adapting to new environments. <laughs> That's, in, that's like a whole story in itself of how many times I've moved and transitioned um, spiritually and physically moves, physical moves and spiritual moves. But um, yeah, so just because you've been through so much bad things, again, I'm going to say it one more time, does not mean that your life has to always be doom and gloomy and resentful and you don't always have to like dwell on like all of the negative and bad you've, you've been through and I know it can be so easy because you're like well I've been hurt in that way I don't want to be hurt again I don't want to, I, you know this person left me and I don't want to be left again I don't want to feel those feelings and I think that's what we're scared of the most is feeling those feelings that we felt when that pain first occurred so um yeah, I just think that you have to, like, at some point be like, it's okay to trust again. It's okay to love this person. It's okay to speak to new people. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to accept yourself. It's okay to make new friends. It's okay to leave people behind. It's okay to start over. It's okay. Like, it's okay. Um, so, yeah. I love you guys. Um, make sure you like, subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm like, uh, I feel like I'm. Alright, I love you.